from behind me I have started the Christmas decorating so to start this video off I'm actually going to backtrack to yesterday when I filmed the putting up the garland so here we go and so it begins I have everything out um, this is my focus garlands for the mantle and I just like to get everything set out and organized first. And yeah, um, my recommendation around garland and picks is you get what you pay for. So this is not something like I've gone out and bought at one time. It has accumulated over the years, but it lasts and holds up. And I use them differently every year, as you guys know. These, I think there are six of these. These are directional garlands from Grandin Road, I think. I will link them because I get asked all the time what is my base garland that I use. Directional garland means all the pine branches go in the same direction, which I find the easiest to work with because you can center it and then cascade it both sides. You don't have to worry about it. I love a directional garland as my base. Plus, I tend to do a lot of asymmetrical work, which is just really handy. Then I have some pine picks. I don't know where any of these came from. I think these came from Tar Michael's. Those cedar picks came from Michael's. They're just filler. This eucalyptus that I cut up was an old picks from Pottery Barn that I never use, but I add them for texture. These are from a floral. These are to get a really nice drape. These are from a floral. They are stunning and they look so real. And then these are just some cedar garlands from, I believe, Michael's. And I think this light green one I picked up at Home Goods one year. But like my good garlands, like these and those, they last, they hold up, they don't shed, they're amazing. These are probably going on, I'd probably say six years, five to six. So I have all of them laid out. I'll grab my phone so you can see kind of my inspiration. So I'm thinking I might go with this shape. So like thin and then really, really full into the ground. I will not need all of this and then I'm thinking of putting two slim 10 foot trees on each side of that media stand. But this is how I do it. I got gloves because I just got a fresh manicure. I'm gonna put those on. I'll link my favorites. They're really thin, which I like a thin glove to work with florals and garlands. They're my favorite and they're really reasonably priced. Some wire and some wire snips and then I have a hammer and finishing nails from my fall garland, I have a few in here right now. Some people have feelings about that. Let me tell you, I use finishing nails for all of my garlands, all of my hanging. You put a little bit of like um, filler in it, paint over it, you never even know. I've filled this mantle with tons of holes and you would never know when you look at it when it's not decorated. You can see that I have wires hanging from the nails. I do really big pieces. The reason is, is florist wire is cheap. You can overuse it because you can quickly replace it. You can get it anywhere, but I don't want to be fishing and trying to find it when I'm also trying to hold the garland in position. So the larger the wire for this base layer, just the easier it is to get it up and attached. So I always go with more wire than not enough. So I have big pieces of wire and I'm just gonna get this first directional garland up and going. I have the base layer in and you can see this is just one garland and it is so full, but this one is completely secured and wired in like really well. So now what I'll use is these twisty branches. That's what I'll use to wire in from here and out. Now I want this side it's still gonna get picks, but I want this side to be thin and I really want it to start like filling out right in here. So I'm actually going to take a garland and like fill in this space so I can kind of have something to start working with there. So what I'm thinking is, let me grab another one. I'm thinking of almost taking another one and starting it halfway here and then kind of weaving it together. Once I get it firstly secured, I'll show you what I'm talking about. From my inspiration picture, it's going, and then it's really thick right there. So I've weaved 
I've weaved that second one in, so I have like the thickness going, and I have plenty of other garlands to get the length I need, but to get that like width here, I think I'm actually going to like, let me show you. I'm gonna bring like a piece up here, weave it in, and then bring this one over and like fold it on itself and kind of let it start making that shape down. I hope that makes sense. So it's long, I'm bring up halfway here, wire that in, wire it, fold it back over here, wire it. I think it'll make more sense. It's kind of going to like zigzag and weave together to make the start of that shape. I really am going to get the shape I want. So this will eventually, I'm gonna add more pieces and hang it all the way to the floor. But if you think about it really quick, normally if you're using command hooks or something else, this whole garland, because this is a whole garland weaved here, would pull that all forward. But look how nice and like perfect it is. And thinking about spending money on good garland, this is two garlands and look how full it is. I'm going to take this last one now and use it to get to the floor length. And then we'll fluff it and start layering some other greens and get some drape and all of those things that we need to make it perfect. And just like that, I have the base shape done. So I have done zero, zero fluffing of this yet. Just simply getting it in shape. I feel like I have a really good base and it's very much the shape that I want to the point where it's even just touching the floor. So really, really excited about that so far. And if you think about it, it'll be really nice. This year I'm focusing more on like one focal point in a room and not so many decorations everywhere. So like two trees, a very big moment at the fireplace as well. And like that's the focal point for this space. So feeling really, really good about this. So what I wanna do now is I do wanna go in with some of these A florals and just add an element of texture and draping that will only come from these. So they have a very realistic, like you can see the drape they get. So the way I'll do this is I'm gonna open up branches on either side and almost build a nest for them so they like really feel a part of this garland. And I'm gonna get some in here and then maybe two within this portion just so it's all very cohesive. Now I got three of those other pines in and it looks, it looks stunning. It's so pretty. Once again, I have yet to fluff or do anything. You can still see even with the weight, it's holding exactly where I need it to. Yeah, it's perfect. <clears throat> So what I'm thinking is next, cause I'm feeling good, I'm gonna go in with some of these greens here and some of the eucalyptus to fill some holes. And then, actually no, <clears throat> I'm going to take a few of these and just get a little bit more of a drape vibe coming across that section. I still haven't fluffed this, but this is the final garland. Um, I only used two of those larger pines to get some little drape in there and like just like a different texture. And then I went in with those stick long picks, those right there, and added them in. But it is, it's stunning. It looks so, so beautiful. Now I ordered specific lights that I wanna use this year in my garland, so they haven't come yet. So I'm actually gonna stop here. And yeah, it turned out beautiful. And this is all still probably going to get used somewhere. Well, it will get used somewhere. However, um, it's done for now. I actually am not. I do wanna put, just for like the last touch of some texture, I am gonna put these sedums in there. Also one other shade of green. So I'm gonna add those sedums, but that's done. Also look at these gloves. Always, always wear gloves because A, you'll get all cut up, but look how dirty. Well, it's not really dirty, it's like the dye. So keep that off your hands. Um, another thing that I've been thinking about is switching out my mirrors. So moving this mirror to this entryway, and I'm thinking of moving this anthropology mirror over to the fireplace. 
Let's go ahead and switch them out and let me see what I think. So I brought this guy up because I thought maybe of using him. He's from Michael's. He was originally white, like a distressed, like shabby chic white. And I just did matte black on him. He's a little bigger for that space than I want because that feels too crowded and I don't want it on that side where the garland is already heavy. So I found these two guys that I got at Target a few years ago, but I don't want them to be black. And I'm trying to like reuse a lot more things this year. I don't love them in the matte black, but I'm wondering, I went and bought some gold spray paint. I might give them a coat of gold spray paint. I'll show you which one I bought. I'm thinking this pure gold could really make them work. So I might go give them a coat and see what we think. I returned the other tree that's missing the adapter to Target and it should be here this week. So we'll just have to wait that out to decorate probably next weekend in the next vlog. And the lights are out for delivery, so I'll be able to get the garland lit today, which is a good thing. I am super happy though with the whole look over there. What I am thinking this year for my decor is like one focal point. I'm not gonna over decorate this year, but each space is going to have one major focal point or area. So last year I really loved that collage of wreaths that I did. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. And I just have a couple wreaths out that I've been playing with to kind of get some spacing correct and exactly like how I want them to go. So I'm going to play with that. I have these two. I have these over here, some boxwoods and some cedar to kind of tie everything together. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking for this space. And then I'm not going to use this mirror. I'm just going to, look how white my shoes are. Um, I'm just going to tuck it away for now. All right, let me tap in a few nails and see if I can get something going that I like. I am just hanging a couple of the garlands around the house. It's such a mess in here right now. In our bathroom, I'm hanging a garland over this light, this a floral garland. Like I said, it's one of my favorites, but this adhesive is my favorite. So I just put some right around this edge and I'm just gonna stick it to it. I have heard some reviews of saying like it pulled the paint off the wall. Can I tell you that I've stuck it everywhere? I don't know if it's because our walls are newer or that I use a satin finish paint or I don't, well no, because I've put it on eggshell too. I've had zero problems from Exterior to interior, not an issue. So, I mean, take heed of other people's warnings, but let me tell you that I've had no issues, but watch, I'm gonna stick this up and just wait. It just looks so good and so natural. I'll show you where I put it in the dining room. So I put it over I put it over the mirror there. Just looks so good. So happy. Also, like it really connects with this wreath grid that's happening over here. Have just gotten the house tidied back up. Um, couple things. Grab some greens. These light up warm white twinkle lights are my favorite. I have them linked below. Add them to any like arrangement and it will Make it incredible. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot in the kitchen. The only thing I added was my Pottery Barn gingerbread. This little nutcracker. I put some little gingerbread houses up there. And then I have like a little bell cascade coming out. And then these candle holders, they're from Breathe at Home. If you guys remember last Vlogmas, I did a little collab with them and hopefully we'll do another one this year. Um, love, love, love. We sold out so many things for them online. Over here, um, I ended up taking this little cloche. I don't, I think that's what they're called. That normally holds a candle and I filled it with bells. Wanted it just to be a little bit clean. And then over here, I added a garland 
some bells, and then these big pine cones. What I have learned is these pine cones are from either Front Gate, no, Grandin Road. They're from Grandin Road, and I paid a fortune for them. I have learned that Hobby Lobby has a dupe for them. I struggle with supporting Hobby Lobby, so these are from Grandin Road two years ago. I believe they still have them. Um, but I've heard that Hobby Lobby has a dupe for them, but these are, the quality of these are insane. But some bells and some greenery. Here's my recommendation. Oh, I'm sorry, this is on. I'm sorry, the TV was on. Um, this is two garlands. I actually had to cut the end off of one. Never panic about cutting your garland. Next year, I kept the other piece. I can wire it back on. Make it do what you need it to do for what you're using it for that year. And know you can cut it and wire it back together. Just choose thoughtfully where you cut it because that will make a huge difference. Once again, this is a floral garland. You can tell like just how good quality it is. It's not rubbery, it like drapes. Like look at that. When it hits the edge, it's just like, it's incredible. Love it, love it, love it. Coffee table is super easy. I'm gonna just keep live florals in that vase that are Christmassy. Just have a candle, some bells, some pine cones, easy. This is her new thing. She loves a pillow, don't you? We also got a bass today. Ooh, got a bass today. She's so perfect and he's pretty great too. Uh, return the tree, the other one's on its way. Over here on the mantle, switching out the mirror was the right call. I added these three trees, my lights haven't come yet, and then I did tuck in one of my strands of bells, and then four, look how big this one is. I don't think Hobby Lobby's come this large, like it is bigger than my hand, but I have four of those tucked in that garland. A lantern here, like I said, the other tree will be here. I can't find my bell stands. I bought these bells, I'll link these on Amazon as well. They're super reasonable and they are a really, really good size. And I bought little like purse black matte stands, but I can't find them so I've ordered two more. For the, They come in a set of two. I've ordered another set because I can't find them anywhere. Then on the entertainment center, I just have my brass letters for Santa and some bells there. Like I said, I didn't want to overdo it as much this year because I'm going to have two enormous 10-foot trees there. And then this all lit up. I just don't feel the need. Definitely won't be doing anything with the banister as of yet this year just because there's going to be a tree right there. I just don't want it all to compete. In my little cabinet, I had these houses that I've had forever. None of my art changed out some pine and bells in here and some pine cones that I had saved some accents of glass um, gold mercury glass and then these are from Target I can't remember if they were I think they were Studio McGee last year but I actually left my nail in the back of the door so they were super easy to hang so I just did the same thing as I did last year with them and also it connects to my awesome wreath get up. I am kind of obsessed with it. I'm really, really happy with how it has turned out. I just think the deer is right. Some people were asking me to flip it over. If you flip it over, then it covers the wreath and too much, um, that wreath behind it and too much there. So I am going to leave it in that position. But I think this is like a really cool, really cool vibe. I might get two dark green throw blankets to put in those. Over here, there's nothing happening yet. Like, you know, I want to save some things for Vlogmas. Yes, I am going to do it. So I am saving some things to do during the month of December. But I will see you every day in the month of December. Like I said, nothing happening here. Last year, we did like a beautiful garland. And then I really am loving this vibe. Just like the one solo branch. You guys saw that I put that up there. And then... 
I don't love to, well, I mean, I love the advent calendars, but like I hate editing that footage and it just gets monotonous. So I decided to splurge on one really, really good advent calendar. So we got the 2023 Liberty uh, advent calendar and it is supposed to be incredible. And then Danielle got me the Book Lovers advent calendar. Super excited about that as well. And we'll definitely buy Sugarfina so we have it. So, those are the, I'm limiting my advent calendars this year. Um, in my pantry, I just have this wreath. I did some gold trees up there, changed out the greenery and the vase, but super clean setup there. And then in the coffee bar, just added some trees, some greenery, some bells. I really love this little string of bells. I just think it's super cute. But yeah, not like overly, overly done, which feels good. This year I don't want to do a big runner of greens down the island. Just takes up so much real estate and it's hard to keep clean. But that's the vibe that we have so far. When my lights come, I will film putting them on um, so I can catch you guys up. But I'm probably going to have to cut this short and... Get it edited. I will link as much as I can find for you, but in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Bye-bye.